Hello everyone, it's Super Galaxy Sam here. Welcome to the stream, and I'll be streaming for an hour because I'm, I, I do be like that. I had to hold some, a bit of an important discussion about stuff. Uh, both in text. Hello, Neon. Hi, Nautilus. How y'all doing? Yes, Rhino Gradentia indeed. Funny nose rats. Funny nose walking rats. How how are you guys? A wall speak. A wall speak indeed. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna go ahead. No 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 no. I want to go ahead. And put in Twitch streaming. Do I have a request for? Push my push me. I'm sure you're a little bit of 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 a little Oh, let's start. Okay. <laughs> oh, sure. But yeah, for anyone, anyone wondering, how the hell do I get to join your 5v5s without friending you? Look up for Twitch streaming and um, 5v5s on Sundays. That's that's how you do it. <laughs> By the way, I've matched up with this person before. I can't remember if there's someone who used to stream with us or not, but I've seen them multiple times. But anyhow, how wonderful, wow, how wonderful, wow, wow. How beautiful, wow, beautiful, wow. Wow, wow. Um. Wow. So anyways, I'm like, how do I always speak and also gibberish at the same time? Gives my best shot at it for you guys. Anyways, painter time. Yeah. Ed Edgar time. <laughs> Um, Tide Child Time, yes. Indeed, Tide Turner Child Time. The child, the child of Tide Turner, that child. And for those who don't know, because this is very recent news, I got a 3D printer recently. Yahoo! That means um soon I'll be able to do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so look forward to that because that might become something relevant to future streams, but that's all in due time if I can figure out what I want to do streaming wise with it or if I'm even going to use it for streaming, but I will definitely use it for other purposes. I, I can tell you that for certain. One thing I'm bummed is I got so busy last month that I missed out on getting Alexander the Great. The the cat, the the pet. I wanted I wanted that fucking pet so bad, but I I want I wanted cat. But could I get cat? No, I could not get cat. Okay. Hi. Oh. Oh. Thank you. All right. Also, I could not get Lucino's S tier sat. I was hoping to get his, uh, what was it called? Spring bath. He did spring, spring bath, spring water. Um, I just 
spent my uh, money on other stuff that had more priority, so I could not get it. I I dropped so many like free inspirations and shit on it too. So that's the thing. But to be honest, I don't think I see a survivor or a hunter in the future I would want to drop um a lot of like a lot of my time and effort in trying to get soon. Maybe Alva, but that's only if Alva's interesting enough. Otherwise, I, I, I'm just like, nope. I'm sorry, but like, the compo- I'm like happy we're finally able to get another decoder. But, oh, that's right. I changed my controllers to 3D modeling. No wonder why my gaming mouse is like, not one, like, not working. <laughs> Like, oh, that's right. One second. I gotta con change the controls. I gotta change it to profile three on my gaming mouse. Yahoo. Okay, now we're good. Oh yeah, I don't think most people know this, but I use a gaming mouse. It's because keyboard controls for IDV are so fucking wonk that it's like, well, Oh. <laughs> let's, pre not, let's pretend that not so spicy moment didn't fucking ha- oh, fuck me. Let's also pretend that not so spicy moment didn't happen. <laughs> Girl, you had the basement. You, you could have put me in the basement. <laughs> you could have done that. The basement probably would have been easier for you, but that's fine. I shouldn't backseat game. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Miss Disciple. At least I have a cute bun that matches my outfit. No, I, I was in your basement. I was the one in your basement, you know. Lucky. I I was too busy to get Alexander, so I, all I can do is hope they'll, like, release him again. Free the cat! He's too fucking cute! Hello, motherfucker! Hello, Jesse. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I know I am very late, but that's because I had to take care of some important stuff. Some important beers, yes. As we would say. Okay, that's spicy. Why do I not have... What kind of fucking bill do I have on Painter? I don't have a spicy bill. Oh, I'm dumb. Basement... Do you ever just look at yourself in the mirror and go, wow, my brain's on dead-ass himbo mode right now? Because that's me right now. I'm on himbo mode. Fair enough. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> when are you not on himbo mode, Sam? Um, that is an excellent question. Because to be honest, if himbo mode crosses over to the whole golden retriever boyfriend slash male wife, well, I mean, like, I'm single, but I just remember that in one conversation I've had where I was, like, not 100% sure what a male wife was, and I asked, and folks on VC were like, well, you see, a male wife is 
basically a golden retriever boyfriend. I'm like, oh, that's me. I'm golden retriever boyfriend. I I will I will I will fucking. I will literally be the quote. I, to be fair, in the relationships I've had, I am basically the equivalent of a golden retriever. <laughs> hey Jesse. Just toes. You, what do you have to say, Neil? Oh, oh, um, the camera kind of broke on us. Hey guys, here's the hunter. It's grass. Yeah, no problem. Look, guys, this is the new hunter. It's grass. I go and retrieve her boyfriend. Yeah, haven't, haven't, you, haven't you guys heard of those? Haven't... You know what? I better double check the term. Excuse me for uh, one moment. I We're gonna do a quick Google search on what a golden retriever boyfriend is because I'm pretty sure I... the No. So a golden retriever boyfriend is basically... You know how the stereotype with go golden retrievers are? They like fucking... Are like the iconic good boys like they just love you unconditionally and will basically do whatever like basically do whatever to like meet you halfway and shit um, it's like that I guess is the answer hang on let, let me Excuse me, what is a golden retriever boyfriend? The TikTok, okay, here guys, we're gonna go on a little Google adventure. Excuse me for one moment. What is a golden retriever boyfriend? Y'all, here is the, here's the definition. What's a golden retriever boyfriend? The TikTok dating term explained. Who doesn't love golden retrievers? They're sweet, reliable, anyone would want that in a partner, canine or human. A fellow who makes things easy and pleasurable in a relationship, much like the dog breed. Retrieve things in a working dog! Stop! That's also me! I... I... <laughs> Please, there, I mean, that was not exactly the term I was expecting for how to define a golden retriever boyfriend, but that also works too. I, I will work my ass off. I, I will work my ass off for my partner to, to, I. I hate how this is slowly devolving into, I will gladly be the male wife bitch to my partner. <laughs> Okay, here, let me just, where do we sign up? Raise your paw if this sounds stellar. Let's dive in. Tell me you have a golden retriever boyfriend without telling me you have a golden retriever boyfriend. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> oh, honey. Wait, no, I didn't want... No, shoot, shoot. Uh, I think that's Neon's video. Uh, y'all go follow Neon on TikTok. Here, I'll just... Yeah, see? Neon, go, go. How do I, how do I, um, properties? Transform, edit transform. Um... See the name right there, Neon Krigami? Go, go follow me on TikTok. <laughs> yes. But anyhow, should you want to go and retrieve a boyfriend? Positive aspect of is that it's nice to be with a man who does not sweat the small stuff. There's something wonderful about ha this having this sense of easiness. However, no authentic relationship should just be easy that, because then it's not real. Is that you're seemingly perfectly 
fella will get on your nerves. He won't challenge you unless following you around like a puppy. I swear I won't do that. That part I won't do. Okay? And in terms of romance stuff, I, I will not be like a fucking puppy. I am not that guy. I, 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 I can be a response. <laughs> you, you want a man who's going to have his own opinion. But of course have, like cuddling. I will cuddle. I will fucking give you all the love and attention that I, I healthy levels of love and attention that you want. So that way you feel comforted and supported. But given the trends, emerge over certain, oh, sh eh, eh, and so on. Yes, it's rough out there, guys. Be sure to stay positive and truthful. If you prefer, do whatever works for you and your well-being. Take it one day at a time. Jesse, I. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that question. I. <laughs> I see your clip though. Thank you for the clip. <laughs> I know I'm a furry, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I do pup play. We're not going into kink shit. Relationship, much like the dog breed. I want to see this thing. a working dog. Stop. That's also me. I, I ship much like the dog breed. Retrieve things in a working dog. Stop. That's also me. I, I <laughs> Please. There, I mean that was not exactly the term I was expecting for how to define a golden retriever boyfriend, but that also works too. I I will work my ass off. I, I will work my ass off for my partner to, to, I, relationship. God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Um, but anyhow, back to the program. But yes, I, I, I'm, I'm basically one of those boyfriend, I'm basically one of those boyfriends who will do anything to walk what, like, whatever amount of miles it takes to be with their partner and constantly try to meet them halfway and give them all the love and healthy support that they can. And, listen, I just want to hold hands and smooch, smooch partners. Wait, what? <laughs> Why are we talking about kinks? Let's listen. This is a 16 plus channel. So we're, we're going to leave the kink talk out for now. Or we're, yeah, we're just going to leave the kink talk out, period. Cursed, cursed song ca palette cleanser. <laughs> God. I wonder if we're gonna get a fucking um, number fifteen. Burger King foot lettuce. I'm dying inside, Jesse. You're fucking killing Pikachu. I'm not I'm dying, Pikachu. This is <coughs> God. Headlines after headlines, musicals after musicals. Can you even recall the last time you saw the sound? The media Uh, who's the production stuff that I not want to get to? Good God. Oh yeah, I was gonna do chords. I'm trying to get all chords for some theory stuff. Theory making. I 
was once like you, waking up on the red carpet of Metropolis. But now, look at what you've become. A cog in this entertainment machine. Wake up. Hand over your toes. God, run! Run while you still can! In this city, forever. Let's continue the carnival tonight. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see this again. Tonight we celebrate the Oh shit. We're good. We got a match. Let's go. Fries. Stop yelling. We are indoors. Number 15, Burger King foot <laughs> lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. A person <laughs> no. uploaded a photo Not the foot lettuce. to the site showcasing his feet in a plastic bin of lettuce with the statement, this is the lettuce you eat at Burger King. Admittedly, he had shoes on, but that's even worse. The post went live at 11.38 p.m. on July 16th, and a mere 20 minutes later, the Burger King in question was alerted- Oh, get the, the sandal! <laughs> at least, I hope Not the wrong. sandal! <laughs> How did it happen? Well, the BK employee had make, to Make the sure, though, when you take off the sandal, photo, you make sure their toes are removed the from the sandal, or else Jesse's gonna Heights, get them Ohio. toes. This was which is not what you want. Three minutes later, at 11.50, the Burger King branch address was posted with wishes of happy unemployment. Oh, God. It's Five freaking minutes weird. later, the news station was contacted by another I can manage this one. And three minutes later, at 11.50, okay, so I got that one later. BK's Tell Us About Us online form. The Run! Photo, otherwise known as Exhibit Run! A, was attached. Jesse's nearby. He's gonna catch up. Contacted the BK in question the next day. When questioned, the breakfast shift manager said, Oh, I know who that is. He's getting fired. Mystery solved by 4chan. Now we can all go back to eating our fast food in peace. Fear. As it should be. As it totally should be a squirrel with a knife. <laughs> it must always be a squirrel with a knife. It's, it's illegal not to have it be a squirrel with a knife. I have not too much to say right now, it's just... Oh boy. Okay, I, well I got gun. I got good. Where the fuck's dungeon though? I gotta know where dungeon is. Okay. I will help you. Or not. I mean like... There's a magician.
Hey, sir. He's <laughs> trying to get me to fucking... Hi. Go ahead, get me, get me, boy. I'm go do my shindigs. All right, bye, Felicia. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> this is fine. So, um, you know how I said, you know, I am just himbo mode. Listen, at least I'm a smart himbo, right? <laughs> Jesse, you keep this up and it will be a fucking meme on the server. For better or for worse. I'm a bit scared and concerned. I swear I'm a smart himbo! I, I just have questionable intelligence. I can at least theory craft, okay? That that that's my one redeeming trait. I, I can I can come up with actually sound theories that are not totally insane whatsoever. What is a hembo? Oh boy, I... Okay, we're gonna do another deep dive after this fucking uh, match. I I'm gonna play I Need a Hembo. That's what I'll do. I'll play the song I Need a Hembo, and I think that would explain everything. I need a hembo. I'm holding on to a hembo for the end of the night. It's gotta be... <laughs> I... I'll, I'll, I'll play I'll play the song. I think I'm just extra himbo too currently. Oh fuck me. I think I'm just extra himbo currently because just just a little bit flustered. Cause uh reasons. I need a himbo. I'm holding out for a himbo to the night and night. It's gotta be fast and it's gotta be strong and it's gotta be fresh from the fat fight. I need a himbo. Your himbo currently is on a chair though. So he's not, a, I, I'm, I'm not gonna be there to rescue her. I kinda used up, you mean the hero? Oh, it. the song I need a himbo is a parody of I need a hero. Trust me, it'll, it'll make sense soon. It'll make sense soon. Um, Alright, I just gotta find the post. Whoop! Ah, uh, post time. So... Where is it? Here we go. All right, let me get out of this match and I'll show. So Jesse, this kind of clarifies what the fuck a himbo is. Yeah, we have a minute here. I'll link it so you guys know where to find it. I think Neon, as someone who does somewhat have gotten to know me in real life can verify that yes, I'm very himbo. Um, <laughs> there's several people who can. I'm a himbo in game. Fair enough. 
I, I can actually use my brain cells usually in, in game. So, yeah, <laughs> um, I think this song is also on YouTube if you want to see the full version. I need a himbo lyrics. It's, yes, <laughs> the himbo! <laughs> I love how Neon here just fucking verifies it. Yes, I I am I am very much a himbo. But here's the thing. In my defense, I'm at least somewhat of a smart himbo. So a dumb kind of smexy guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> yes, I, I'm very much that. Um, here's the whole lyrics if you guys want them. Yeah, I won't lie. I've actually been called very, like, lately, ever since I've improved with, uh, my appearance and everything and felt more comfortable about my body and all of that. I've gotten a lot of people saying I actually am quite attractive. <laughs> so I <laughs> And they they mean that as just a general comment, like a general compliment. You do look like Jose. Yeah, I know. Like <laughs> For reference, I definitely do tend to look like Jose, um, or like fucking, I need a himbo I'm holding out for a himbo to the end of the night. He's got to be strong and he's got to be fast and he's got to be dumb and polite. I need a himbo I'm holding it for himbo to the morning light. He's got to be dumb and he's got to be sweet, supportive, respectful. I think the best, okay, to be honest, I want to say, and I'm not trying to pat myself on the back or anything or whatever, I'm just being honest. From what I understand about myself and what other people have said about me and what I've observed. Um, you did this to yourself. Yes, I did. I, I, I will admit it, I did. Um, I'll admit. Out of the identity five characters, I feel like if fucking, if someone fused Jose with Edgar, Luca, and Orpheus. I think you'd basically describe me. <laughs> and, and to some extent. Like, definitely, I very much look like Jose. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's all I can say is, yeah! <laughs> you are attractive. Yeah, I, I, I can believe that because you're not the only one who said that. I've had several people say that to me in a gen like as a general comment, like a general peer-to-peer -peer comment. Um, even, a. Fun fact, I got to meet, uh, Numzero Sean at AX. Even Sean Nums, uh, who's never seen my face up to that point, uh, basically got a face reveal for me. And he, like, 
quite a few other people who know who like would meet me for the first time were like uh to gave me the compliment of like saying that um I was attractive, but like saying that as a general sense. So yeah, no, I, I can definitely say you're not the only one who said that in like a very general peer-to-peer -peer sense. I've had uh, that said to me at AX. I have ha been told that by an older uh, female peer. I, I've, I've been told quite a bit that um, by people that they they would come to the agreement that I'm actually quite attractive. I have no words to describe you. Honestly, valid. You're you're valid. Um it's why I'm like I think the best way to describe me with IDV characters is if Jose was like if someone fused Jose with a uh, Luca, Edgar, and Orpheus. That would probably roughly describe me. Basically, someone who physically is quite attractive, according to a lot of people, can actually be smart when they use their fucking brain cells and is as nosy as hell. Um, is mental. <laughs> it's like, I have mental illness. Um,. I won't lie. I have I have a plethora of mental issues, like uh, Orphe does, um, and as like I said, very nosy like him. I actually, in fact, fun fact, um, one of the whenever you take those quizzes that suggest careers for you and all of that, I always get detective as one of the top career choices for me. And the only reason why I've never pursued being a detective was because I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> Even though I later learned on in college that I actually really love forensics. I love science and I love forensics and the whole shebang. Uh, it, it's just not something that I just never wanted to pursue as a career, per se. At least that's what I thought at the time. Nowadays, I'm like, you know, if I had the opportunity to go back in time and do it all again, I would maybe actually go ahead and aim for that career in forensics, or at least something in forensics. But I'm getting like older, so... I mean, like I'm still pretty young, I'm only 26, but in terms of getting up in age, and being stuck in college and trying to just move on with life. I would say, argue that, yeah, I'm at that point where I can't just sit around in college all the time. You could be 5'2". Five, 5'3". Complete bad guy. <laughs> Actually, you're close to 5'3". Five, I'm 5'2". Five, um, most people will actually find me to be a very respectable... Like, com the common comments I've gotten is... People say I'm generally... Like, I've generally been told I've been... I'm very attractive, and people... Uh, find me to be, be very sweet, and... Like, the comments I've gotten are... Oh, you're very attractive, uh, you're a sweet, respectable person, um, very thoughtful, mindful kind of thing, um, uh, mature for my age, like, a lot of stuff like that. I'm 5'8". You're 5'... I can believe that. I don't know why, but it seems like there's something about the name Campbell that just gives off tall vibes. But then again, I'm also short, so everyone in my peripheral vision is taller than me.
But yeah, I don't know if anyone agrees with those dis anyone who has gotten to like interact with me IRL enough would agree with that or not um, with what I just said about the decision like the character comparisons or the comments or anything but yeah um, another fun thing so the fun thing about the so here's so in terms of the characters that I used to make those comparisons um, yeah I in some other timeline I actually probably would have pursued forensics um, I actually share, like, people, I actually share a uh, personality, MBT, I personality type with GLaDOS and Morpheus. <laughs> I'm an INTJ. Um, Luca, I'm, like, very nosy and into technology and stuff, and Edgar, well, I, I'm a fucking art major. What can I say? I have a cousin... Almost taller. I I can. Tallness usually runs in the family unless you get the literal short end of the stick like me. So many of my relatives are very tall. Um. Quite a few of my all my family members in my main house in the household I live in are taller than me. I'm literally the shortest human being in this household. I, I'm just tall. I mean, I'm just short. I... We're gonna ignore my himbo brain so I was here for a fucking moment. I swear I am smart! I am smart! I, I swear! There is... I swear I am smart. Um, I am just hyperactive right now. But yeah. But that's cool, your cousin... Like, it makes a lot of sense, but also, you know what? Yes. Um, go through the door, go through the door. I uh, got, I gotta go find dungeon. Wave mamosita, mamosita no, mamosita no, mamosita no. I am gonna grab this syringe if it's nearby. No, it's not. Damn it. Door open. That's great. Go through the door. I need to find dungeon. Escape the dungeon. Get through the dungeon. I mean, get through the door. Yes. Go through the door. Go through the door. <coughs> Yay! Oh. <laughs> Hi, Sean! We, we actually briefly mentioned you in a discussion. One that involves definitely verifying I have brain cells. <laughs> Yeah, Sean is much taller than me. I'm a himbo. See, I'm a himbo character. No, Sean, I I mean that, and I I'm goofing off. But yes, right now my brain is not a hundred percent here. But we were talking about jokingly how I fit the description of a himbo. Me tall. Yes, you are very tall. You're taller than me. And I see Neon has my mane equipped. Both, okay, Jesse would tower over me. Like, Sean already towers over me in person. <laughs> I feel ashamed. 
game. No. <laughs> Neon, I think, uh, I think is the only one who's maybe a little bit short. Wait. I'm actually doubting this now. I, I, yeah, you're only shorter than me by an inch. I'm 5'2". <laughs> I, I beat Neon by an inch. But to be fair, Neon's still relatively young, so they could totally outgrow me. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not growing on anymore. Um, you'd be surprised. I can believe that. I can't gauge measurements visually, but yeah, no. Sean is much taller <laughs> than 5'6". And I say this because, uh... My ex was 5'6", and Sean's taller than my ex. So, yeah, no. <laughs> JK. God. Y'all, okay. Like I said, say for Neon. Y'all are taller than me. I'm, I'm a short little old man. I mean, I'm not super old, but... I, I'm slowly getting there. <laughs> okay, so what? I need to escape from the hunter one time. And then I gotta rescue a survivor from Rocket Chair. I just gotta get those two at least done, and then I'll have those deductions done. And then if I wanna 100% them, I can. I have this the So, for those who want context on why. <laughs> just when I. Then Sean came. <laughs> you can still make a short joke, you have plenty of time. You, you just can only make a short joke towards me. <laughs> These nuts buy compilations. These nuts. Jesus. These nuts? God, I haven't seen those compil- Like- D's nuts. Man. What a legendary but old joke. <laughs> it's it's one of those jokes that you think you haven't heard in ages. So you think it's been buried with a hatchet in the grave. But then it comes up just to r rise and remind you that no. It still breathes. Bring back the vines. I know. They tried their bite. Bite was terrible. I tried out bite and it was just not the, not the same. TikTok is the closest thing we'll have now to vine. I want... Give me something. I want some from Purdy. Watch mine come back and dunk over all over TikTok. The only thing is, granted, I wasn't a tick 
Vine user when Vine was around, I only like peeked a little bit into. I like I only peeped a little at it when it was still alive. <laughs> but I never had an account on Vine or anything because I just didn't have any need to. But from what I could see of Vine in comparison to TikTok, in order for Vine now, if hypothetically Vine were to come back. A lot of the features TikTok has are features that Vine already had and or currently trumps Vine. So in order to to have Vine uh, trump over TikTok, it needs to have something that's viable that TikTok currently does not provide. Because at the end of the day, TikTok's a service designed to uh, provide some sort of functionality that people want and or is in demand and more specifically it functions on the principles of what we currently see with the philosophies or like not philosophies but like it currently functions on the principles we currently see with how uh social media and apps are currently designed and a lot of those features actually a lot of those features and beliefs that i've seen at least from observing and using them Oddly enough, cross over to how uh, game design is talked about in principle. And by that, I mean uh, a lot of stuff these days, a lot of stuff in modern society and technology these days is very gamified, if that makes sense. Um, Things like your follower count and everything. Uh, say for some occasional exceptions. Most times you can't really hide your follower count. You can't really hide your view count or anything like that without special widgets. Etc. Because part of the reason why it's designed that way is because they've learned that seeing numbers go up gives people dopamine rushes. Just literally turning it with all the nudity. What? Damn. I feel like that possibly has to do with the fact that adult services and I'll, I'll just say this real brief and quick because I, it's not, I'm not sure if it's a topic I feel fits this channel much currently. Maybe if I create an 18 plus YouTube account that specifically goes into more mature topics and discussions, I'll maybe discuss it there. But to just briefly talk on, touch on it in a way that I do roughly understand because that's not also oh, that's not a topic I'm super knowledgeable about. Um, from what I could understand from words through the grapevine and everything, from artists and content creators who do have a an adult side or use have a side to them that use, utilizes adult platforms so that way they have an alternative or like another uh, demographic to target, if that makes sense. Um, what I hear is like, so far it sounds like there just isn't a feature like TikTok on these sites that they rely on in order to draw in those audiences. Yeah, feel free to. Um, but I I do appreciate uh, the brief mention of it because that could be something that I do touch that I could research and touch upon if I ever make a more adult channel. Because um, sometimes I do actually want to. Like, I've contemplated it before, but basically there are times where I do actually want to um, be able to talk about certain subjects that I just can't talk about on a 16 plus channel. 
not nothing like super raunchy or anything, but just general talk. Um, but yeah, that's all I can say is I I from what I understand is there's just currently possibly the reason why that's happening is because there may not be platforms that allow that that provide that service that people enjoy. Um, basically, it's just supply and demand. So, yeah, that that's I'll, I'll drop the subject there, but hope that seems appropriate enough and makes sense in the context that you know is appropriate. Yeah, we did. As long as you guys get a tie, you should be fine. Go, go, go. Don't, don't rescue me. Don't, don't rescue me. the beards and the beads comment was meant for someone that was fair enough someone just says what I just want to see the Bart comic <laughs> Bark! Meow! Okay. Good for them. Good for the barking and whooping. That. Now, now. And ow, ow! Um. I just need to escape from Hunter one time, and I need to do that. Oh, okay, I got off track. Now I remember what I was going to discuss before the discussion of Vine and TikTok came in. So this is kind of a crack theory, but it's one that suspiciously, suspiciously can, not suspiciously, I guess isn't the word, uh, just oddly can hold a, at least a little bit of water. Um, one, I think we have two Orpheuses. I think we have Burger two King Flores. So anyways, I have this theory, this very rough crack-ish theory that I think we have two people who are Orpheus and one of them is an imposter and that imposter could actually be Martha. I know that sounds crazy, but think about it. So here's Martha. Here, the traits that Martha shares physically is that, you know, she has 
roughly the same color. They give her usually the same color of hair in uh, some like. You know what? Fair enough. But um, they they roughly give her the same hair and eye color as so. I think she could be an imposter Orpheus because she clearly knows what there's she clearly knows more than we're li than she's letting on with the manor she's okay like she um feels comfortable comfortable enough dressing up or like not, maybe not dressing up but, well, yeah, she feels comfortable enough with the concept of dressing up in what's generally considered or gendered as men's clothing. Uh, and probably would not have any issue with dressing very masculine. Um, and you know what? There are some people out there who identify as cis and are fine dressing up as the op like presenting as very masculine or very feminine or what is it who owns the wait i do my brain is scattered but what i'm trying to say is i think if someone were to ask her hey we need you to be a spy and we need you to impersonate so and so and I we think you're you could be a good fit despite the fact that you identify as the opposite gender to him um I think Martha would be fine with it <laughs> if someone told her to dress up as Orpheus because she would she physically shares enough physical characteristics to pass as Orpheus, especially with a little bit of makeup and clothing adjustment. Yeah, I... I, I, I would say it's possible. Especially if it means she gets insight. Because here's the other thing. If we can go off of at least some of the validation of Orpheus's words, if some of what he says is valid, because remember, he's an unreliable unreliable narrator uh he's figured out how to get in and out of the various nooks and cr crannies of the manor without much issue and do so without being caught so if you were to imperson if you were to be a spy and you want to impersonate someone in a very suspicious manner you would want to disguise yourself as the individual who is able to get through all those various nooks and crannies. But she is too young. Um, remember, we don't know the exact time periods that each of the characters came in. And we're specifically talking about younger Orpheus, who isn't that old, who isn't too much older than her. Uh, his younger version, his novelist form, is only 24. And she's like 20. Martha's 20, so they're really not that far apart. I could. I could if I really wanted to. I, I don't know how much of a valid theory any of y'all think of this, or if it's interesting whatsoever. Um, what was the fire one again? Because I can't remember. Because I usually don't... Arguably, I don't really write down my theories. I just think of ideas and I'm like yeah this is 
what I gotta say. This is my thoughts and input. Uh, impulsive inputs and thoughts on the matter. Uh, matter of the subject. I never really crafted an actual proper theory. I kind of just contribute to people's ideas. Oh. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> I swear I will do that one. Maybe, maybe I'll combine it with a short video that covers the fucking Golden Retriever boyfriend thing. Because I do think that would be a very funny TikTok. Like a very funny, maybe, maybe it would be too long for TikTok, but it would be a decent length for YouTube because for TikTok, if it was just that clip, it wouldn't provide the full context on why that clip's funny. Um, hey, Mac, Tracy, please heal me. Por favor, okay. Okay, okay, I, I'll heal you instead, sorry. Hey Tracy, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you should go rescue because I don't have gun or you know, um, a hun hunter changing target. Oopsies. Thank, thank you though. <laughs> I'm gonna go rescue. Posted out for several years. So you're thinking of Detective Orpheus. His detective, his age as the detective is 36. Or not 36, 34. His, um, so him in present day is 34. His canonical age as the novelist is 24. They have it listed in the clue section of the diary where they post the relations. It says in the relations he's 24. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Vamos, vamos. What about the hunter version? With I don't think Nightmare has an age, but I can check. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 so the hunters, you have to, so the hunter one is weird. 
Because just because someone has a hunter side doesn't mean they're that exact person. It's not a one-to-one -one ratio. They've confirmed this and uh, confirmed this in a making of video for the character of Lucino. Uh, some characters will be a one-to-one. -one. Other ones are like the hunter is related to them in some story related way, but they are not that person. But I can go check. Um, so really, in theory, Nightmare could either be the Hunter version of young Orpheus. Or Nightmare could just be a person who's tied to Orpheus. It could go either way. Luciano, I think, it is more of an obvious one. Where Luciano is the evil reptilian. And so, same applies to Weeping. Weeping, I think, is Joker. But Orpheus himself is just a befuddled identity crisis myth. Which, which is kind of a mood. Um, <laughs> yeah, we don't know his age. Um... But yeah, novelist Orpheus is twenty-four. I'm doing dice, nice. So yeah, they basically stated in a video that yes, some characters are going to be the hunter slash survivor version of their counterpart, whereas others are just characters who are connected to them but aren't exactly them and the reason why i say orpheus could be the one of those characters where nightmare may not be the hunter version of orpheus is because orpheus himself has so much going on that there quite possibly can be two orpheuses um, so there's that. We need more hunters. I know we're getting Alva in December. Axe Boy and Wu don't have a counterpart point yet. Counterpart yet. If you mean their age, uh, we don't have their age is either yet. I think I can... Does Violetta's show up? I wonder. I don't think I uh, completed. So what's interesting is they don't give Vio's age there. What about the other hunters? Um, yeah, they gave Joe... So what's interesting... Okay, here's the other interesting thing about Orpheus's hunter. Is they don't give his age. Smiley has an age. Granted, they don't give Violetta her age. Um, Leo's age they do show. Leo is, is, is in his 30s. Um, I can show right here. What? I swear they had his age unless I am experiencing a Mandela effect here. But anyhow, yeah, uh, some hunters show their age, some don't. Orpheus is so far is the only one that's like age, question mark, question mark, question mark. How do you tell the age of a spooter? She's not, so Violetta is interesting because she's, she's not, she's not really a spider. So Violetta is not is Vi Violetta is actually human, but someone gave her these very high tech ish prosthesis that makes her look like the way she does as a hunter. Because she originally used her pro pro prosthesis for performance purposes. Um, she's actually a human who. 
was born without any limbs. So she was born without arms nor legs. And that's the thing uh, that does happen in real life. There are people out there who aren't born with any of their limbs, but they, they get along through life quite fine. Um, so... But yeah, for those who didn't know, Violetta is a human. Uh, she she just happened to be born. Um, you know, she she just happens to rely on prosthetics. <laughs> Violetta is human. She just happens to have been gifted special prosthesis that would give her the design she has. Um, I'll have to read on that because I don't know if she, her thing is she still souls or not. I don't recall any of that being mentioned, but I'll do her deductions and uh, find more on that. But with that said, it is 10.05. I got some important, st some other stuff I got to do. Some of it is a bit important. Um, and or has higher priority, so I gotta do that before it gets too late for me. I'll go ahead and set up a raid, and we'll call it a night, alright? Let me go do my outro. Let's see here, who can we raid? Thank you for grabbing my socials. We can go raid uh, Lammy. Lammy is making some ought. So let's go raid Lammy, alright? Everyone, uh, go say hi to Lammy. I'm gonna start up the raid right now. And I'll see y'all later, alright? That said, stay safe and have a wonderful night, okay? Bye-bye.